Hey, it's JC at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture super source, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-174-19531-6097. Obviously, I am not in Toledo, Ohio right now. I am in Las Vegas, Nevada, and here at Maximum Comics. Very cool shop I was at a couple years ago. We're going to go in and have a look-see at some of the cool stuff they have in here. I want to thank them for letting me uh, do this little recording. So we walk in. Let's just see how cool everything is. Got the high ceilings. One of the things I remember from my first trip was this life-size Supergirl statue here, which of course tells you do not, do not touch. Of course, I'm sure people do, do touch. And you got all kinds of cool stuff up there. And we've got, this is Warren and Tim. Tim. Uh, how long's uh, this uh, uh, Maximum Comics been at this location? As about three weeks ago, uh, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. I'm getting ready to celebrate owning my shop 33 on Monday. Oh wow! Nice. Now, awesome. now this is a, a chain of several several shops, correct? Yes, uh, all owned by the same person. Okay. Not, now not corporate, just okay. still small. Business. Now, is this considered the first of the of the or, We're actually, or is uh, a the second of uh, four locations? Okay. Our first location is off of um, Tropicana in the 215. Okay, and you guys have a website? We do, MaximumComics.com. Okay, and a Facebook page? Yes, we do. Under the same name? Yes. Uh, what about like YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram? Well, we do Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we don't have a YouTube channel going yet, but I'm sure we'll be doing this. I, I, I suggest it. It's, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. I, uh, I've started back in December. I'm up to almost 200 videos now. I do a lot of unboxings oh, nice. of the product that comes in each week, and I'm yeah. sure you understand the, the damages that we have to put up with. And, yeah. and I'm you know oh, yeah. showing people that just Every so they day. so they we get did. to understand. <laughs> uh, back during the early days, we did used to do videos of like our top picks. Uh -huh. yeah, like um, the top three comics. Yeah. Not like top three comics coming out and like we had someone from each store or you know we had Jay and at the time we only had two stores okay so we had Jay and then one person from each store you know, their uh, their preferred comic uh, and then as uh, as we sort of expanded uh, we decided to just do a newsletter so okay we have so we have more access we can show it's like hey here's with like two dozen comics oh, that are coming out this week. All the and we have like three. three. We saw uh, like three so staff picks, things the, like that. that. So right there, that, and then the, that much hasn't changed. Or we also had that opportunity to say, "Hey, check it. You know, check out these time. events. But it's only sales going on. Whatever." Okay. Um, now the other the the first shop is this the largest of the of the of the shops? By or? square footage, yes. Okay. Um, store three is almost the same, but this one's deeper. Okay. Uh, and store three, store three is a little bit wider. I but, like the, uh, but, but in terms of square footage, we're the biggest. I like the, the very high ceilings in my shop. It's not quite the ceilings aren't quite as high. It's like because I look at this, it's like if this was my shop, it's like oh, the room I could <laughs> deal with. You know, they, the wheels are turning as far as you know displaying much more product and, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I see, uh, you guys uh, do uh, store signings as well. Uh, well, over the over the summer, we've actually done this for like two or three summers. Uh, we've done what's known as Sketch Artist Saturdays. Okay. So just just an event to keep things going during the during the, uh, the summer during the summer months. Okay. We'll have local artists come in, and um, they'll typically do like a couple sketches for some people, particularly kids. Okay. And they also have an opportunity to, to show off their wares and it's like, hey, these are some things that I did. So we support local artists that okay. way. Okay. Um, we have had a handful of artists come in. Um, not just at this location, but other locations. Yeah, um, the biggest name we've had was uh, Brian Michael Bendis over at uh, our third location. Okay. Which I stood in line for. That was a six-hour yeah, day. Was a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that was a full that was a full day for him. I, uh, my shop. Uh, I've, uh, 28 years ago, I moved to my new location. So I've been at this location, my new location for five years. And at the old location, I used to be able to have uh, store signings. I just don't have the room these days. But mm. I had Alex Ross, Ron Friends, Norm Gray wow, Fogel, nice. uh, Bernie Wrightson. That was certainly a, a, uh, just a, an honor to have them. Uh, Stephen Butler, Tim, Tim Vigil, David Quinn, uh, Hart Fisher, uh, uh, Mark Bagley. Uh, I've got uh, all kinds of sketches. You walk in on the wall that are just... Uh, just great. I've got a uh, this Adam Hughes color sketch of him, uh, or of uh, Wonder Woman and uh, She Hulk a color sketch back when Adam did color sketches. That's just uh, just just amazing. Uh, now the Supergirl here was this something that was made for you guys, or is this that was a thing that our owner procured from um, a private seller? Okay. He, he got uh, three of them in one 
purchase. Uh, it was that one. There is a Batman over at one of our locations. I believe it's he's at the warehouse. Okay. And then uh, we got a Superman from the purchase as well. I think he's at store three. Okay. Now the surfer there, how did uh, how did you guys come about him? That one I actually had to ask our owner for because that was a that was a cool. And uh, there was a seller in California he actually drove out for uh, to buy it from. That was a okay. Seller. That was that's the surfer from the Fantastic Four movies. Okay. Um, so, so something that was probably when, at the at the theaters. Like yeah, that. exactly. So when Rise of the Silver Surfer came out and the uh, theaters were told to toss them, which, which is just. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. Uh, that surfer is actually signed by both Stanley and Doug Jones. Nice. Late surfer. Nice. Now, what's some of your guys' uh, better sellers as far as new comics go? New comics, uh, Venom is probably the biggest Marvel. Yeah, that's title that's, that that's pretty selling. red hot right well, now. Yeah. Uh, um, anything Donny Cates is touching. Is, yes. Oh yes, absolutely. is something that I'm just kind of forcing on to people. It's just like if you enjoyed Thanos at all, which a lot of people did, yeah. they jumped onto way too late. I'm be like read more of his stuff all of it's crazy all of it's great oh yeah those number 13s just went up in price yeah, just crazy yeah and i had copies at cover price for quite a while yeah. until until I, I, I had some guys coming and wanting to buy multiple copies yeah. yeah so i so i had to kind of uh you know put a limit and yeah, i right here. you know started, started started charging some more unfortunately my my latest uh venoms uh, were all damaged. One of my unboxings, you saw the entire, the entire, uh, the entire side of one box was damaged. So Diamond was not able to replace those. Uh, the Bill Sienkiewicz cover on uh, the Batman book that came out, that miniseries, was not able to replace those either. And it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. Um, but uh, but yeah, and, and DC's doing quite well. So I, I like a lot of the stuff that DC's doing as far as the variants. Not having this jump through hoops like uh, like Marvel is. I see you've got uh, an art germ, uh, 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 Invisible Woman up there. Yeah. And I wanted to buy those, but I wasn't gonna buy 275 percent of Avengers three that they wanted yeah. to order. I yeah, bought. that that one's kind of a. It, it, it's a really big guessing game for a lot of them because it's just like, well, how, uh, it depends on how many things you did in the past. So you can't right. retroactively go back in time and order however many. Well, the thing for me is like, okay, so Marvel knows my business better than I do as far as what I can sell. Right. You know, so. it's like, you know, if they wouldn't have done that, I probably would have ordered well over 100 copies of all four of the all four of the covers. And but as I, I ordered I ordered none of those, I ordered about 50 copies of the regular FF one. I would have had to order like 150, and it's just like, no, I'm I'm yeah. I'm not doing you, it. You can only you can only go through so many. Yeah, I mean it's just so much money that you're tying up. And I mean, I could have, but then I would have had to have charged ten, twelve dollars each for the, for the art germ covers. And I'd rather not, you know, have to be put in that position, you know, to make up for you know all these lost sales. But uh, let me look around at some of the other stuff here and let you guys get back to it. And uh, I certainly thank you for, uh, you know, letting me, uh, you know, let me check the shop out. Of uh, I was. If you have any other questions, just let us know. Okay. Like I said, I was here uh, two years ago with, uh, with my with my friends. I didn't have my camera at that time and. And wanted to come back and certainly you know check this out. Yeah, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I passed on buying this. I should have should have bought that. But those are quite good. I got these Justice Leaks here. Those are quite good stuff that sometimes you have to really pick and choose what you're what you're able to to buy or not buy. And I come in here and I see stuff you know, into a shop like this, I see stuff like this, and it's like, well maybe, maybe I can go back and reorder some of this stuff. You got this glass, this great glass case here. I know I'd, I sold out of those. Uh, I wish I would order another couple of those. That Deadpool is sold great. The uh, Supergirl, looking at this, makes me wish I would have ordered it. Uh, you got some of the great Harley Quinn. You got that Thor Ragnarok statue. We've got uh, currently have that uh, the Batgirl, that Superman with the glow in the dark chains. And then you've got you've got some of the, the sideshow statues, which is just just incredible. Thor is 420, but. Go back here and take a look at this Silver Surfer here. 
Look how cool that is. Pretty awesome. He's on his board. That's funny. That's real funny. That's that's hilarious. I'm mad about those FF movies too. How you doing? I am doing awesome. I'm checking out this great shop. Got a shop in Toledo and uh, like the highlight cool shops as I go elsewhere. God, these great tiki's. I need to reorder some of those Thors. Oh, the Star Lord. Look at the camera. Gamora. Uh, just there is like cursing and uh, adult play. That's fine with me. All right. <laughs> Very cool. Flash. Got the cool comic art boxes there. Now, is this is where uh, you guys' new comics go each week? Yeah, yeah. So we take the time to try to make like um, uh, what you call it, placard. Okay. For each one. Um, so when they sell out, that the people we, know what. Yeah, we know what was where. And we can try to track down because what we'll do is we'll transfer around between our stores. If somebody needs something that we're out of, we'll call up one of the other shops, get sent down here for them. That's certainly the one advantage of having multiple stores. That yeah, you know, this shop is sold out, and that mm -hmm. shop has a has an excess of those that you can. That way, money's not being tied up. And exactly. Different, different. Like there are different culture centers of comic book of comic book people in each in area. Of right. Town, so. it's, it's weird how we're yeah we're basically one city even though we're Henderson it's still lost might as well be lost. Right. 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 But each location definitely has its own feel and its own clientele that definitely like different things. You see, get the different staff picks also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those uh, Looney Tune uh, DC crossovers. Oh god, those things are just so cool. Yeah, they are. And they, the ones like, from a little while ago were were particularly interesting. Like the Batman, Aquaman, Batman Elmer, uh, Batman Elmer Fudd. Oh yeah, yeah, the the, the first script. Yeah. Cuz you cuz uh, you read that and you 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 have Elmer Fudd's his voice is in your head. Mm -hmm. And and it, it looks like the, you know, the the writers took took the time to to get his speech impediment right too. Well, you have to. Which, I mean, it's important. Yeah. And I think the the current one with uh, Joker and and Daffy, you kind of get that with the uh, Daffy and his the whole you know suffering and stuck a dash. Yeah, you know that's in there. And like lateral lisps, everything like that. Just little little verbal ticks that you know it's it's nice to see that are carried over. You know they're taking the time to make sure that the uh, that it's you know tr true to the source material. Well, yeah, it reflects it, and and again that makes the you know the people reading it it makes it that much more enjoyable for them because mm -hmm. again like you know like the Elmer Fudd Batman. Then you have Elmer's, you know, voice in your head as he's as he's doing that. It makes it that much more enjoyable. We should be getting these pretty soon. Look at this here, Marvel's Poison. Oh, I can't wait for these to come in. Order some of those. Oh, God. Got some of the RPG games.
got all these trades. This stuff tells me I need to reorder some trades. Oh, get the Datsuns. Cannot wait to get those in next week. There's so many people happy with those. Got a bunch of the empty boxes of the figures that are in the glass case. Probably a good thing I didn't see that. I would have ordered that for myself. Hmm. I don't remember seeing that figure before. Got some supplies back here. I don't recall seeing this one being offered. BCW, we're gonna have to look into getting some products from them. Assassin's Creed, Let's see if number four is here. Figures. Here we got a whole bunch of pop figures here. Obviously. Oh, the lion cats. Do you guys uh, see this Vader's yeah. Raiders Vader shirt? Uh -huh. That's a that's a very clever. I ordered a lot of those, knowing that there's lots of Star Vader Raider, Raider fans. fans right. That uh, I sent one out to a buddy of mine that I knew that he would. He would enjoy it. He was yeah. kind of down on his, not quite as much cash on him, so I yeah. decided to, to set it to him and cheer him up. Okay, does it, ah, oh, man, they're missing those issues too. Poor Carl. I can't, can't take care of getting some of those comics for Carl. Grab a couple of those. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else? Spider Man's nope. Thanos nope. Nope. Statues over on this side too. Ah, oh, there it is. There's that too. That putter sure is way cool. 
Wish I certainly had the room to display some of my statues like this. Got more pop figures here. Got the kids comic section too. And of course, we got all the posters along the side there. We got some dollar boxes there. But we've got to wrap this up. Got a blue oyster cult show to see. So. I wish there was some more stuff I could use. Actually, I was looking at something. The problem is, like, the longer you stay here, the more stuff starts talking. Yeah. 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 These books are way cool. Very, very cool books. Well, if you guys like my video, certainly subscribe. And if you do subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications. And again, we'd like to thank Maximum Comics for allowing us to, uh, to record this. And if you're in the Henderson, Nevada area, certainly check this cool shop out. There's lots of stuff that you should give your, give them your money. Give them some of your money when you come in here. Thanks again.